Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-usapan naman natin ang standard deviation kung paano tayo mag-compute nito at paano tayo mag-interpret ng standard deviation sa mga data natin. In statistics, kadalasan natin narinig yung mean or yung average at narinig din natin yung standard deviation pero mo, most often than not, medyo nahihiwagaan tayo kung ano nga ba yung standard deviation at saan natin ito ginagamit sa mathematics. At yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw na ito, paano mag-compute at paano mag-interpret ng mga standard deviation ng uh, ating mga data gamit siyempre ang statistics. So, umpisa natin sa measure ng spread. Ang measure ng spread, or yung tinatawag natin variability, ay uh, maraming paraan kung paano ito gamitin or hanapin sa statistics. Isa na rin yan yung, the, yung range. Ang range of value, ito yung pinaka-basic na pag-measure ng variability or ng spread ng ating distribution, ay given a set of numbers, the range is equal to the maximum value in the data set minus the minimum value in the data set. So basically, hinahanap lang natin yung length ng ating data set to find it and to compute for it, kunin nyo lang yung pinakamataas, kunin nyo lang yung pinakamababa sa inyong data set, find its difference, at yun na yung range na tinatawag na isa sa mga measure ng spread or variability ng ating mga data sets. So, for example, meron tayong negative 3, 5, 9, and 19, mga random data set or numbers na meron tayo, at kukunin natin yung value ng range ng numbers na yan, Using our formula, the highest number is 19 and the lowest number is negative 3. So to get the range, sa subtract lang natin siya. So 19 minus negative 3 is going to equal to positive 22. So yan yung ating range na tinatawag at yan yung spread or measure of variability or isa sa measure of variability sa statistics. Medyo mabilis, medyo madaling kunin, Pero may ilang mga measures ng spread or variability tayo sa statistics at ang standard deviation ang susunod nating pagtutuunan ng pansin dahil dito natin makukuha yung uh, mas malalim na paghanap ng variability sa ating mga group of data. So ano nga ba ang standard deviation? Ano nga ba ang variance? By definition, according to statistics, the variance and standard deviation of a data set measures the spread of the data about the mean of the data set. So, meron tayong spread, meron tayong mean, at meron tayong data set na nakikita sa definition yan. At yan yung mga elements na tumutulong sa atin sa paghanap ng ating standard deviation. At ang variance or standard deviation ay given by a long formula in statistics which is given by this, S squared, which is the usual notation for variance in statistics, is equal to the summation of x minus mean squared divided by n minus 1, where n is your sample size. Yan yung ating variance na tinatawag, at pag kinuha nyo yung square root ng variance natin, yan yung ating magiging standard deviation. So, yan yung dalawang measures ng ating spread. Pwede tayong variance at pwede tayong standard deviation. Depende sa unit of measurement na kinakailangan natin sa interpretation ng ating data. Pero parehas yan ay nagme-measure ng spread or variability or pagkakaiba-iba ng ating mga data set mula sa ating set of data. So, paano ba natin gagamitin yung uh, napakalaking formula na yan? Umpisahan natin dito sa ating samples. So, let's say meron tayong uh, calculus class. So, in this calculus class, we need to find the standard deviation of the number of siblings of the five students ni Dr. E. So, in-interview ni Dr. E, yung kanyang five students, tinanong nila kung ilan yung silang magkakapatid at kukunin natin yung standard deviation ng magkakapatid dito sa aking klase. So, ito yung ating data set at ito naman yung ating formula na gagamitin to measure the standard deviation or yung 
de- variability na tinatawag. So, yung ating mga students, si Spencer, meron tatlong kapatid, si George, meron dalawang kapatid, si Austin, meron isang kapatid, si Marisol, meron tatlong kapatid, at si Maria ay may dalawang kapatid. Now, kung kukunin natin yung average ng mga kapatid ng aking limang estudyante, madali lang natin makukuha yan kasi 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 divided by 5 is the average number of siblings I have with my five students in my calculus class. So, compute natin yan dahil mapapansin ninyo sa formula, kailangan natin ng mean sa pag-compute ng standard deviation. So, ang una natin kukunin, every time meron tayong formula or pag-compute ng standard deviation, ay ang ating mean or ang ating x-bar. At yan, syempre, ay yung summation ng ating data set all over N. So, yan yung gagamitin natin. So, kukunin natin yung mean, which is 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 divided by 5 students. At yan yung ating magiging X bar o yung mean na tinatawag dahil sa mathematics. It's all about symbols. So, that mas efficient yung pagsulat natin ng ating mga notations. At ang ating mean, gamit ang ating calculator. At syempre, yung aking slide will equal to 2.2. So, 2.2 siblings ang ating average at kailangan natin yan sa pagkuha ng ating standard deviation. At sa ating formula, sabi dito, meron tayong x minus mean squared. So, meron tayong dalawang options para pag-compute ng standard deviation. At sa mga students ko, lagi kong ginagamit yung or pinipresent yung dalawang methods. Yung vertical method or yung column or tabular method or yung ating horizontal method. So, pigay ko sa inyo yung parehas. So, sa table form, since meron tayong malaking formula dito, sa so, lagi kong ginagamit, syempre, is kunin muna yung aking mga x values right here. Ito yung aking x column. At yung mga x column ko is 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, which is the number of siblings ng aking limang estudyante. Nakikita ko dito yung aking formula na x minus x bar. So, Sulat din natin si x bar right here at si x bar natin is 2.2, 2.2 at gagamitin natin yan sa bawat isang individual or estudyante ko at yung kanilang number of siblings. And then yung aking formula na x minus x bar. So si x minus x bar, ito yung first set ng aking formula. So isusulat ko si 3 minus 2.2, 3 minus 2.2, 3, I'm sorry, not 3. 2 minus 2.2 and then 1 minus 2.2 and then 3 minus 2.2 and 2 minus 2.2. At kukunin ko yung difference niya at ito yung aking magiging susunod na column. And in this manner, mas systematic yung pagsulat ko ng aking mga values para sa pag-compute ng malaking formula na ito. Since alam ko na yung aking mga values na yan dahil meron tayo sa presentation ko ng formula ng aking S squared o ng variance, makukuha na natin na ito ay equal sa 3 minus 2.2 squared, 2 minus 2.2 squared. Yan yung tinatawag natin na horizontal method or basically using the formula as it is, pero yung method ng uh, tabular form mas organized at mas makikita natin yung ating mga methods kesa sa horizontal uh, display na yan. Pero both of them, of course, will work, but in mathematics, it's all about learning uh, several ways on how to compute for math problems like this. Kaya, binibigay ko sa inyo yung palawa, pangalawang method ko para mas marami kayong options sa pag-compute ng standard deviation. And here nga, nakita na natin na yung ating difference ng ating uh, 3 and 2.2 is 0.8. So, meron tayong 0.8 right here, meron tayong negative 0.2, meron tayong negative 1.2, na 0.8, and then negative 0.2 gamit ang ating calculator. At isusunod na natin sa kabilang column would be yung ating x minus x or x minus mean squared, x minus mean quantity squared. So, mas naiintindihan natin yung formula na ginagamit natin using this method at mas nakikita natin yung progression niya. So, in this way, so, isi-square natin si 0.8 kasi ito yung formula na yan. So, nakikita niyo yung progression 
And nakikita nyo yung bawat steps dito sa ating table form. So, meron tayong negative 0.2 squared. Meron tayong negative 1.2 squared. And then 0.8 squared. And negative 0.2 squared. And gamit yung calculator nyo, syempre kailangan pa rin natin ng ating calculator. You can use any calculator or pwede nyo rin gamitin yung cellphone ninyo para makuha nyo yung mga values na yan. At yun yung susunod nating columns. So, sa x minus 2 squared, so pag nakuha nyo yung mga values na yan, it will give you 0.64 plus 0.4. So, lagay natin dito dyan sa equal sign. Meron tayong 0.64, meron tayong 0.04, meron tayong 1.44, meron tayong 0.64, at meron tayong 0.04. And what you need to do after doing this column is to add them all up, at yun yung i-divide natin by 4. So yung sum nito, gamit ang ating calculator, I would give us 2.8, so ito si 2.8, and i-divide na lang natin siya sa n minus 1, which is 5 minus 1 or 4. At ito ngayon yung tinatawag nating variance. So variance pa siya kasi itong formula na to ay yung formula natin for s squared. At yung variance na yan, which is equal to 0.7, ay isa, hindi natin nakikita dyan, pero ito ay 0.7 right here. Ito ay isa pa rin measure ng spread na ginagamit natin na uh, usually sa um, kung kailangan natin or kung gusto natin makita yung uh, unit of measurement doon sa measurement ng ating spread or yung variance. Pero if you want to change it into standard deviation, standard deviation, it's basically uh, helping you to... Um, use yung ating iba pang mga formula sa statistics tulad nung ating uh, uh, normal approximation na gumagamit ng 0 and 1 as the measure of the distance between the mean and the standard deviation, pwede natin siyang gamitin sa standard deviation which is taking simply taking the square root of the variance or 0.7 para makuha natin yung standard deviation ng ating value. At ang standard deviation natin from 0.7 na differences or average differences ng number of siblings nung limang estudyante ko sa calculus class is going to equal to 0.84. So si 0.84, yan na ngayon yung ating standard deviation na tinatawag. And again, you have two options to work this. Actually, you have three options. First option is yung ating horizontal method, which is using the formula as it is. You can also use the vertical method or the table method so that you will see the progressions in your data set na parang spreadsheet pero by hand so para kayo nage-excel pero gamit ang papel ang lapis at ang calculator. At ano yung pangatlong method? Ang pangatlong method third method would be a web application or phone ninyo mag-google lang kayo write down or um, search standard deviation calculator and it will give you the value of the standard deviation right away. So yun yung tatlong methods sa pwede kong share sa inyo. Now, paano natin gagamitin yung uh, standard deviation na yan? Ang standard deviation na yan, yan yung nagbibigay sa atin. So, isa sa pinakamadaling explanation yan is kung gaano kalapit yung mga data set ninyo sa isa't isa. So, the smaller your standard deviation, it shows yung more uh, similar uh, characteristic doon sa inyong individual set of data. So sa statistics, the smaller the standard deviation, that means the more consistency or yung uh, tinatawag natin, mas malalapit yung mga values natin doon sa ating data set kumpara doon sa uh, bawat isa doon sa ating sample. So to give you a better explanation on the standard deviation, let's take a look at this example. So let's say meron akong dalawang grupo sa aking Algebra 2 class at kinuha ko na kanilang height distribution. Meron akong group 1 at meron akong group 2. So sa group 1, si Lisa, si Michelle, si Dominique, si Mariano, and si Brian, ang height nila in inches ay 62 inches, 61 inches, 61, 66 and 72 inches. Uh, if you want to change it into feet, 
form. So uh, let's say 66 inches. 66 inches is five foot six. The heel uh, five times 12 is 60. And then add no si six inches, kaya 66 inches. Just for you to visualize kung ano yung height na yan in regular form. So, yan yung ating mga height sa group 1. At sa group 2 naman, si Roberto, si Sean, si Ian, si Francisco, at si Tyrone, meron tayo 73, 75, 71, 66, and 71. Now, without doing any mathematical calculation, can you tell me which group has a closer differences between each other? So, ano yung, sa tingin nyo, may pinakamalalapit na agwat ng height doon sa group 1 or sa group 2. So, sino yung mas merong maliliit na agwat when it comes to their heights? Si group 1 ba or si group 2? Now, by just looking at your data set, magkakaroon na kayo ng idea, but if you really want to have the confidence to answer that very simple question, gagamit tayo ng standard deviation. So, gamit ang formula na yan, kunin nyo yung standard deviation ng group 1 at group 2, and hindi ko na patatagalin at hindi ko na kukunin by hand, but I would love for you to try it sa papel ninyo at kumpiti ninyo yung standard deviation ni group 1 at group 2. At si group 1, meron tayong standard deviation of 4.72 inches. Yan yung average differences ng mga heights ng ating group 1. At si group 2 naman ay merong 3.35 inches. So that means yung second group natin, yung height nila ay mas magkakalapit kesa doon sa group 1. At yun yung isa sa pamamaraan kung paano natin na-visualize ang standard deviation, which is a numerical measurement ng spread or variability sa statistics dahil alam ko pag sinabi nating mean or average visualize na agad kung anong ibig sabihin nun pero pag sinabi nating standard deviation sometimes nag-iisip pa tayo kung paano nga ba or ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin nun so yan ang isa sa pwede yung maging visual para makita ninyo yung uh, kahalagahan ng standard deviation sa mathematics so therefore group 2 Si Roberto, si Sean, si Ian, si Francisco, and si Tyrone, they have a more consistent height distribution because their average height differences is smaller than group 1. At yun yung halaga ng pag-compute natin ng standard deviation. At ang ating number bender challenge for today, gamit ang inyong skill sa paggamit ng formula ng standard deviation, McDonald's monitors the amount of time and minutes that a customer waits for their order while going to the drive-thru. So, yung boss nila, sabi nila, if the staff that they're serving, or the boss tells the staff that their serving time is good, if the standard deviation is under 4 minutes. Hindi yung kanilang mean or yung kanilang average uh, minutes sa pagbigay uh, or pag-serve ng kanilang uh, to-go boxes, pero yung standard deviation. So, ito yung kanilang mga nakolektang oras, 5 minutes, 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 8 minutes, 7 minutes, and 2.5 minutes. Now, sa tingin nyo ba, yung performance ng staff nila na yan, na nakuha in random, ay considered to be good enough when it comes to servicing their customers. At ang standard na yan, it should be under 4 minutes. At yan ang ating lesson on standard deviation na isa sa mga halagang numerical value na kinukompute natin sa statistics at mas marami pa tayong measure ng spreads, hindi lang yung standard deviation at yung range and you'll be able to learn more about it in our next lessons to come. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!